Riley's back now. It says 96 uh, on your screen there, but we did hit 97, and that means we broke another record? Yeah, we tied it back in 2009, 97 degrees. And it was funny because when I put it on Twitter today, we were about two degrees shy of the, the record high, and uh, everyone was like, I think we can, I think we can, I think <laughs> we can. we did. We did, yeah. yeah. It's like when you're that close, might as well just do it, right? Yeah, it's a hot one outside. Here are the highs up and down the valley. Salem, you were one degree shy of your old record. The Dallas, your old record, 106, so four degrees shy of that one. Still hot out there for you. 102. It's still pretty warm out towards the coast. That story at 80 today in Newport. Pretty comfortable. Made it to 61. Here are the records. So as we recap them again, 2009 uh, was our old record, as well as Salem at 99. Eugene, 101 in Hood River. Last I checked, you were at 95 degrees, so a few degrees shy of that one. So again, that brings us up to 26 days. So far this year of 90 degree plus days, the old record back in 2009 of 24. And just remember, a normal summer is 12 days of 90 degree plus temperature. So we're well above that and we're most likely going to see more coming in within the month as well. So here's the planner for this evening. Skies are going to remain clear. It's going to remain hot through about uh, 6 or 7 o'clock, most likely still in the 90s. Once we get past about 730, then temperatures will start to cool about 8 o'clock, 84 degrees. We are going to feel the northwest winds increase to gust to potentially maybe 20 miles per hour through the evening hours. 10 o'clock clear skies right at 74. So the national National Weather Service will keep us in the heat advisory for about another uh, 40 minutes or so for all the uh, I-5 corridor, also parts of the Columbia River Gorge extending out to about Hood River. Another thing we're watching, of course, is the red flag warning uh, for the I-5 corridor, and that will expire tonight at 6 o'clock for us for Portland. But once we get out east, it's going to remain a little bit longer through Friday, about 11 o'clock. So breezy conditions, very dry conditions. The relative humidity levels are going to be low in addition to the poor air quality with all the smoke. In fact, I have a time lapse from Skamania Lodge. Now, this is this morning, and you can see the visibility is improving greatly through the afternoon hour. So that's the good news there once we got into uh, the late afternoon hours winds started picking up from the north and west. So a lot of that smoke now is starting to push toward the south and the east, which isn't good news for the central and eastern parts of Oregon, but at least it's a little bit better there for you at Skamania Lodge. So the air quality warning you could see for the area shaded in gray uh, central Oregon. This will go until tomorrow morning at 915. Now, if you live further east, south and east, especially uh, towards the Burns area, that will go through three o'clock uh, tomorrow. So again, going to be a little bit longer for us and we'll watch this to see if it lasts. Uh, longer because the smoke is just really not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. So the hour by hour forecast for tonight, we are going to see some changes. The onshore flow is going to strengthen and by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, I think we're going to see plenty of clouds at least to start potentially some drizzle out along the coast. And then once we get into the afternoon hours, we're going to start to see some gradual clearing. But look at those temperatures by tomorrow. 76 degrees. Big difference compared to what we saw today. Salem, you'll make it close to 80 degrees mid 60s along the coast and lower 80s for the eastern edge of the gorge. Thursday night is going to be really a rinse and repeat. Once we wake up to Friday morning, I think we'll see more clouds once again, maybe even a little patchy drizzle trying to make its way in as well. Uh, some drizzle likely along the coast, but notice temperatures starting off in the lower 60s and we'll only end up in the mid 70s. So tomorrow, only mid to upper 60s along the coast. You will see some patchy drizzle early and then partly sunny skies in the afternoon hours. Morning clouds for you in Kelso, ending up between about 75 and 77 degrees. We'll break into the sunshine a little bit earlier for the south. So I have you a little bit warmer east side for tomorrow. The air quality issue is still going to be there. Still pretty hot and hazy. 89 for you in the Grand, 84 in the Dallas and government camp around 68 with mostly sunny skies. So all in all, pretty nice day for you there. Here's the extended forecast. Once we get past Friday, notice how the temperatures just jumped to near 90. Once again, we heat back up to the, and we're going to stay that way on Sunday before another cool down arrives by Monday and especially on Tuesday. And a couple of the models trying to indicate maybe a, little, a slight chance of maybe a rain shower trying to work in there Tuesday night early on Wednesday. I'm going to go really iffy on that one. Of course, we have still have plenty of time, but at least we're going to see some changes in the way of some cooler weather moving in. Yeah, the cooler weather will be good. If we get any rain, it's going to be about what this much? Yeah. Probably right. a few drops. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Riley. Yeah. Well, and Riley,